Hello there and welcome back to my tutorial. So today we will learn how to create UI label programmatically and we will mess around with the properties such as background color, text color, number of lines and we will also change the font type and size uh, all in the code. So let's get started. Uh, I have already created this project and my view controller is completely empty. So I will hop over to view controller and we don't need, need this part because we are just coding. That's the best part of this. So first we need a variable. We will call it self made label, right? Proud of it. And equal to UI label and open close brackets. So in uh, so whenever you create some objects programmatically, you need to give it a frame. So it's uh, height and width more specifically. And uh, then you, you also have to like give X coordinate and Y coordinate. But uh, what I will do is I will like use frame to give it width and height and then I will basically center it in the view. So this is a basic approach to programmatically creating an object. Okay, so let's start. So self-made label dot frame is equal to, if you notice, if we type dot frame uh, here, CG rect is what it requires. So we will create a CG rect and open parentheses and here we will say double so let's position right now it's x0 y0 and width will be let's take it 250 and height will be 100 okay and we will say self made label dot center equal to center okay let's not do this right now and we will just say self dot view dot add sub view and I will just add self made label and we need to give it text so basically that's what we are creating it for so text equal to and I will say I am self made okay and let's run the application and see where it stands so I have selected iPhone X so we will basically see it like around here with the uh, antennas I guess no it's time right so we will see it here with time I guess okay it's running oh it's here so here it's the x0 and y0 so that's good it's here but now we want it in center and basically uh, let me create one more thing so I will say self so now we are saying this is background color so background color and this will be basic setup basic setup and for background color we will say self made label dot background color is equal to ui color dot uh, let's say light gray so that we can see the text and run the application again so now uh, whenever you set background color you get where the exact your object is standing okay so now we can see that it's actually all beyond and about to the time as well but it's like luckily we are able to see it okay so let's bring it in center to bring something in center this will be like center property center and we will just say self made label dot center is equal to self dot view dot center so self dot view is our main view okay the whole white screen so now if I run the application now I see the whole label in the center but there is one more problem so basically the label is in center not the text so now we will mess with the text alignment so now i will say so this is text alignment and for text alignment i will say self-made label dot text alignment is equal to dot and here we get all the options so right now i will select center and run the application again and okay it's working so now we see the label in the center as well. So now let's change. Uh, now we can, let's try number of lines. Okay, what if I want to say, after I do this, I say slash and I am awesome. And if I run the application, I don't see the I'm awesome part. So let's run it and uh, let's run it and see. So we don't see it. So basically if the people who don't know slash n means for new line. So it means that uh, shift the rest of the part in new line. Okay. So let's fix this. For this we need to say self made. Okay. This is our basic thing. And this part we will do in next line. We will say 
number of lines and now we will say self made label dot text plus equal to I don't know if we can do this but I hope it works so I'll just say this uh, let's do I am cool I hope this works right and we need to say self made label dot number of lines and now we will say two and this time it should work let's hope it works okay this thing is not allowed so we have to do it along with the text so I'll just copy this part and paste it over here get rid of this and run the application again and we will be able to see I am cool as well so we see I am cool again so let's get rid of this background color and uh, so right now I'll just comment this out and let's set font color now so this one is for font color and self-made label dot text color is equal to UI color dot red and run the application so here is the red color so we are done with the basic setup we we saw number of lines we text okay we centered the whole label in the view we messed with the text alignment as well we changed the font color and background color so now it's time for the trickiest part which is font changing font okay changing font so for now I will change it to Avenir next you can suit yourself and like find your favorite font I like Avenir next a lot so I'll say so if you type dot font and you will see here that it requires a UI font so I will say UI font and open parentheses and here it needs name so it's Avenir next and size will be let's say 25 and so we are good with the font size as well and let's run the application for one last time so it's big and it looks great let's make it more big so that we see the difference let's say 40 okay and it's working okay it's like way huge so what you can do is you can like increase the width so let's say width is 300 and height is 200 and now it should work basically I don't know it maybe may not okay now we can see so that's how you mess around with the UI label and I guess the main part was creating it programmatically which is really cool so if you have any questions post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos peace